Today in Fairstead, we're going to be building along this highway as well as developing this hillside neighborhood and building up in layers and height as we approach our downtown. As you know, overall walkability is really important to me. So as I approach developing this new area, I want to think about carefully bringing a walking path along the back of these office buildings, a way that you could easily walk and connect to our transit. We have our train and our metro, and then we also do have a bus hub. So you might be traveling for work and connecting these areas up um, with this walking path is gonna be really important. I'm also using surface painter just to clean up this area and make it look a little neater. I'm all about detailing and making sure things look right. Sometimes it's good to get an overhead view just to make sure you're not missing any little pieces with surface painter. Another important part to walkability is how the walk feels. You do want it there to be a nice environment. And with my channel, I'm all about focusing on building for pedestrians. That means lots of walkability, lots of public transportation, and lots of park space. So we're just gonna do a little detailing along this back path of the offices just to create an enjoyable walk for those who need to get from point A to point B. We're going to be adding some industrial to this area alongside the highway. I do want to bring in a uh, fire station and I think this one is gonna fit. Yes, it's gonna fit perfectly right here. And this area was in need of a little more fire coverage. Now I'm just gonna zone some industrial zone. And of course, we're gonna use the new industrial evolution. Let's love those buildings. They always look so good. We have a really high industrial demand, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some more offices. This is gonna help create a nice barrier in between our commercial residential uses and this industrial. It's important to me that as these level up, they're going to change styles. I want to keep some the brick look, I want to have some that kind of basic warehouse, and then I do wanna let some level all the way up so they have a bit of that modern feel. I really like having a nice mix of all three styles. Now I wanna to continue to build next to the highway here, so I'm gonna bring a little road right alongside our train station and that way we could put in some more commercial behind here. I think that'll work perfectly. And again, I'm adding, we still have pretty good industrial demand, so I'm just gonna add, and we'll let these level all the way up so they have that more modern look. I feel like that will work well. And again, I'm just moving our zoning over here so we have our shopping malls. I want that commercial along the back side of this train station. I think that's gonna end up looking really nice. All right, as that is all filling in, we're gonna to move to this first section of our hillside neighborhood. I'm gonna pull over our zoning that has our green cities. And on our other development here, we didn't let the buildings get too tall. We stuck to one by ones. Here, I want to start kind of building up in those layers of height as we approach the downtown. I'm gonna add an additional road through here and we're gonna make sure we add a walking path as well. I think this is gonna be really valuable to connect into this nice pedestrian road that we put down that is connecting up to our transit hub in this area. So again, I'm not gonna go any real big zoning with the green cities. I'm gonna keep them still pretty small footprint size, and then I'm gonna pay attention to the height, make sure they don't get too tall. We do want to gently build up in those layers and height as we approach the hill, and I really think this is gonna have a really cool aesthetic as it fills in. Okay, while those houses are filling in, I wanna come in with Surface Painter and start to fill in some of the details in between our industrial and the highway here. Bring in Surface Painter where it makes sense and bring in some vegetation where it makes sense. Just making sure everything looks nice, marking a few buildings historical as I go. So I do want a certain look to this area. I do want it to feel very eclectic here near the highway. I just feel like that vibe kind of fits. And I love always putting vegetation underneath rails or roads. I love that. Don't know how realistic that is because they're not getting a whole lot of sunlight there, but I like the aesthetic of it. Again, I am just using Surface Painter carefully 
and filling in areas as they make sense and then just kind of making everything blend together nicely up along the highway. I do think it can be a challenge to build next to a highway, but when you've got great industrial buildings and a little surface painter, it's actually not so tricky and it, it fits nice. Now you can get a lot more detailed. I've seen a lot of builders use things that will kind of roughen up the pavement, make it look a bit, um, distressed. I think that's a very cool thing to do. I don't get to that level. And I do see an area where we could bring in more vegetation near our walking path. I really think we can make this look super cute and just be a more enjoyable walk for those who are using this as a way to get from the public transportation to their office. I just love bringing in a mixture of trees and bushes and making it just feel like a nice lush environment, little spot of green in the city. Okay, definitely need some surface painter in this area here. And I want to bring another walking path behind these buildings. Again, just trying to increase the walkability where I can. And I feel like this would be a nice little connection here. And I think we could use some of the planters that we got recently. Yes, these ones. We could just use this here along here. We are right next to the highway. This wouldn't be the most enjoyable walk, but for those who work here, they maybe want to take a little shortcut that could work. I think this is looking really cute. I love how this is starting to develop. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments so far. And we finally got a little bit of residential demand. Ugh, looks like we'll be able to finish this build. I'm so excited. So the other thing I'm doing, again, I'm back at this path again. I just wanna make sure everything is really nicely detailed. We want this to be very enjoyable for everyone who uses this. Now, in this neighborhood on the hill, it's really important for me to control the height. I want to build up in nice layers and height as we approach the downtown. So some of these buildings I'm going to mark historical, and then some of them I'm going to let level up, mark them historical then, and then others I'm going to let level all the way up. That way we have some nice variety in height in this hillside neighborhood. Again, we are building up to our downtown on top of the hill, which I'm so excited to get to. And those of you that have followed this know that I'm building out all around the downtown to kind of get the feel and then we will do the downtown at the end and add all the skyscrapers. I'm really excited for that. Again, I'm focusing on creating these really lovely spaces for our pedestrians, making sure we have little parks and just adding trees alongside this little pedestrian road just to kind of make it feel really nice in this space. Again, just focusing over on the overall pedestrian experience is really important to me in all of my builds. Okay, and I think we can do something really cute with this corner. We could bring in the similar plaza. We did two blocks below, um, and that will kind of tie this neighborhood together nicely. So let's go ahead and actually do some flower bushes along here. Again, just bringing in green space where we can. And then again, looking at the buildings, seeing what the height is and marking a few of them historical as we go. I really like how this is looking though. I feel like this is starting to blend together very nicely as we move up towards the downtown. I'm really, really happy with this. You guys will have to let me know what you think of our little green cities, high density hillside neighborhoods here. I think they're turning out real cool and I'm getting a lot of Seattle vibes. So again, just carefully with my zoning so that we're not breaking quite into the downtown yet. And we're gonna do a sim similar thing here, build out another neighborhood. I definitely wanna get another road connection here. Feel like that would be very valuable especially for walkability you want to be able to get places pretty quickly and again i'm just going to be careful with my zoning not too big of a footprint um, with these buildings just again keeping them small because with the green cities if you go with the bigger footprint you'll get really tall buildings so 
Also just nice to go with something a little bit smaller through this area. And then I do think a couple little commercial spots, we'll make sure to put the Media Mug Cafe right there on the corner. That's gonna be super cute. And then one of these sidewalk cafes would be really nice too. Just to kind of give a little amenities for each neighborhood. Again, this is important as you're building out walkable cities, even on a hill. Think about if you live somewhere, where would you want a cut through path to? And I think a path down the hill where you can get to this basketball court and this little stop and shop kind of, <laughs> you know, where you can get a soda or something, you would want that. You'd want that little cut through. So I always try to think of those types of pedestrian connections as I am building out neighborhoods. This is looking pretty good. Let's get a little bit of overhead view. Sometimes when you're dealing with taller buildings and detailing, sometimes a little easier to do the detailing from this view because otherwise it's hard to see in between the buildings. I think we can make an additional path connection here. Again, this would be a valuable cut through Creating short paths to get to the few commercial buildings in this neighborhood it would be really important. This little corner seemed like the perfect place to bring in this tiny little lake park that we got. That's not the most adorable thing. I love that we got all these little parks. It's great when you're designing little tight spaces like this, but you do want to bring a little bit of green space in for the citizens that live there. This is too tight in between these buildings, so I think I'm just gonna use surface painter here instead of vegetation, as they are pretty tight together, and there's lots of park space around them for them to use. Again, wherever you can put a little pedestrian cut through, that's always super beneficial. And here, I think we can definitely do some detailing and make this look a lot nicer. Again, creating that enjoyable environment for your pedestrians as they move about your city. Plus, it just looks a lot nicer when you do this, <laughs> do the little detailing and just bring everything together. This is looking really cute. Okay, I'm loving the vibe here. I like how this hill has developed. We've got all these different layers of height. We've mixed in a little bit of commercial. Okay, so then what I did here is I actually decided to bring in a little bit of low density, a little pocket of low density. We're still gonna have our green cities up at the top, building up in those layers and height to the downtown, but this little block or two just felt like to me, it kind of felt like it should be set aside for some high-end homes. And I really like how the mid-century modern just kind of fit in. And then I'm throwing in a little bit of Green Cities, um, the organic uh, market commercial stuff in here too. And I think it's just giving a really nice vibe. Okay, definitely got to bring in some detailing cover up this cliff face. Sometimes I like the cliff face, but in this instance, we're kind of going for a little bit more of a pocket of a higher end neighborhood. So I definitely want to make it feel really lush. Okay, these homes here just didn't feel like they fit to me and this community really could use a little school and we have this little community school now. So I think this is gonna be a perfect fit. We'll bring in one of those little miniature parks that we just got, the little playground, which I think will be so cute. And then we'll just bring in some nice detailing and I think it'll help blend um, in next to these taller buildings that are you know, gonna be lining this downtown area. I just think it fits a lot better. And again, it increases the overall walkability of the neighborhood. If you have a school, you can just walk to, especially an elementary school, and it increases 
not only the walkability but the value of the neighborhood as well so i really like how this fit in here and then again just bring in some detailing especially around these commercial buildings where we've got these tall buildings up on the hill and again i've brought in a little walking path so that you could easily walk your way down to the coffee shop if you lived in one of these high rises so i really like the kind of mixture of low density and high density here i do think it fits and again just using using vegetation and landscaping to kind of blend that in a little bit more overall this whole development and neighborhood that we did along the highway and then up here on the hill i really love it and i am so excited to actually get started on the downtown area i know we've been talking about it for a few episodes but it was really important to me to kind of get this outside portion done you guys have to let me know what you think i really love how this all came together i do think here we could bring in maybe a few more things to this neighborhood i think the historic library will work really well here and also that new little police box we got again we're just increasing the value of the neighborhood and providing more services that are easily to get to, making the neighborhood in total more walkable. And of course, we'll bring in some landscaping and I think we're about done. I want to continue this landscaping pattern. I started a few episodes back along our transit hub just to kind of pull that through, pull the same pattern through. I think that'll look really nice and just finish off this build really well. A few more trees in here and let's grab a couple big ones here. Lots of shade, lots of lovely colors. Oh, I think this turned out so cute. I really, I keep saying cute, but I think it's cute. I just love how this neighborhood, and I love this low density with the high density. I think it actually worked out really nicely. For sure let me know in the comments what you think of this new neighborhood i have a very big special announcement the next time you see fairstead it will not be on my channel we are passing on fairstead fairstead to cities by steven he's gonna do two episodes i am so excited to see what he builds and what he adds to the city make sure to keep an eye on my community tab for more information about that Reminder, I have channel memberships. It's a great way to support the channel. If not, come join the Discord and say hi. I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.